Here in the Samsung booth, we're going to start with the Series 7 Kronos. Welcome to Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013. Our trip to the show this year is powered by Corsair, maker of quality PC components and peripherals. Our trusted storage partner is Seagate Technology, and our trusted networking partner is Linksys. So this is an update to their existing Series 7 Kronos that adds touchscreen functionality as well as an updated spec. You can get this guy with up to one terabyte of storage, 16 gigs of RAM, a Core i7. It is significantly thinner than the old one, but even more important than any of that is the fact that it ships with a Radeon 8870 graphics card with two gigs of RAM. So while this looks like a professional machine that you could actually not look out of place at a business meeting with, it is a reasonably capable gaming machine to say the least. In terms of I.O., you've got your power in, you've got this innovative little Ethernet jack that pops down because the, uh, the profile of the notebook is actually too slim for a full-size Ethernet jack. BGA out, again, makes it suitable for business travel, but also gaming. HDMI out, two super speed USB 3 ports, a headphone microphone combo port. I want to just show you guys the thinness of the unit with my trademark iPhone comparison. There you go. Nice big touchpad, love to see that, especially with these wide format monitors. It drives me crazy. It drives me crazy when you have a small touchpad. However, that's not really where this guy shines. It has a 10 point multi touch touchscreen. Biggest difference between this and the older Kronos. On the other side, we find SD expansion, two USB 2.0 ports, as well as a Kensington lock. We couldn't see this too well in the last shot, but I've turned on the backlit keyboard, so the backlight shines through both the letters and around the outside of the keys. Keys feel overall very solid and actually, wow, look at that. Check this out, guys. So I'm going to do one of my trademark flex tests. So I'm putting a fair amount of pressure on the notebook itself. There's almost no flex to the unit whatsoever. So that really does show the build quality that goes into something like this beyond just the actual specs that it runs. One thing I missed on that last one, guys, is the JBL audio that's integrated. I'm glad to see all manufacturers, pretty much all, everyone, stepping up and improving the audio experience that you have with your notebook. Right here, we have their Series 7 Ultrabook, and this addresses every complaint I could have had about their last generation Series 7 Ultrabook. One thing is it adds the 10-point multi-touch. The next thing is this is not a TN panel anymore. This is a PLS panel, which means that the viewing angles are outstanding. Look at this orange right here. Okay, that's not gonna work if I do it that way. Look at this orange, I'm gonna tilt this, you're gonna see it still looks orange. So that is how you're going to have just a totally premium experience with this, mo with this, <laughs> with this model. I hate seeing TN panels on high-end notebooks. This is a truly high-end notebook. It has an 8570, oh crap, I think I screwed that one up. 8570? Samsung's upgraded Series 7 Ultrabook has pretty much everything I could have asked for. They've added dedicated graphics with an 8570 Radeon graphics processor with one gig of memory. It's configurable with a Core i5 or a Core i7. You can configure it with up to 256 gigs of SSD storage, and last but not least, up to eight gigs of memory. But it's not all just about that. So yes, it's extremely slim, and that's all fine and good and all that, so we'll do our traditional iPhone comparison for thickness here. I'm actually gonna fold down the screen just because it should wake up instantly because it has an SSD inside it. There you go, extremely slim. Let's show the I.O. So we've got one of those folding gigabit ethernet ports. Love seeing full-size gigabit ethernet on an Ultrabook. HDMI, super speed USB 3, headphone, microphone combo, VGA out with an adapter, which makes it perfect for business. Two USB ports, Kensington lock and SD expansion. Okay, so yes, gaming on the go. Yes, Ultrabook. Touchscreen now, so they've added a full multi-touch touchscreen, and more important than anything else about it, in my personal opinion, is the fact that they are no longer using a TN panel on their Series 7 Ultrabook. This is a PLS panel, which means that when they say 178 degree viewing angle, they actually mean it. Have a look at how the screen looks from here. I'm going to tilt it like this. It looks the same, except for reflection. Your colors are not going to distort whether you change the angle horizontally or vertically. You can still see the color on the screen. Love high-end screens, love dedicated GPUs, and I love touchscreen when it comes to Windows 8 machines. So this looks pretty good. Stay tuned for more CES 2013 coverage from Linus Tech Tips. Don't forget to be subscribed so you don't miss any of it. Thanks for watching Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013, powered by Corsair, Seagate Technology, and Linksys.